the channel Electrically Yours. This is Shreya Dev and today I'm here to share my experience in of the placement procedure of analytics question. So in a layman's language, analytics question is a company that deals with the uh, performance of the other companies. So the clients of the analytics question includes one of the 500 uh, Fortune 500 companies as well. So it's a pretty good company and it's a pretty big name. So uh, as there are the normal placement procedures, so every placement procedure rehta hai, like they have some levels before the final interview. Some has group discussion, some has case studies. So basically analytics question ke bhi teen level the. The first one being online computer based test. So the second one was case study and the third one was the final one interview. All right. So, the first level tha, online computer based was aptitude and logical reasoning. Tha. It had four sections. Pehla aptitude, second logical reasoning, third was I think data interpretation and the final was, was language proficiency or as in other words we say verbal ability. So, aptitude pe aate hain. Har ek section ke liye humare paas 10 minute the. Okay, I don't remember the exact number of questions but I think it was enough. Uh, jo पहला काम किया मैंने जब मुझे पता चला कि एनालिटिक्स क्वेश्चन आ रहा है जब हमारे प्लेसमेंट सेल से हमारे पास इंफॉर्मेशन आया तो आई स्टार्टेड सर्चिंग इन द इंटरनेट कि पैटर्न्स क्या है क्वेश्चंस के आई सर्चड फॉर इन द क्वरा आई आस्क क्वेश्चंस एंड आई गॉट सम ऑफ द आंसर्स ऑन एन एवरेज एवरीवनस रिस्पांस वाज कि इजी टू मीडियम है जो लेवल है हार्डनेस लेवल वो है इजी टू मीडियम तो द दिक्कत कहां आती है हमारी जब टाइम का इशू आता है क्योंकि जो चार सेक्शंस मैंने आपको बताया आप उसमें से सिलेक्ट नहीं कर सकते कि आप कौन से सेक्शन को पहले बनाएंगे आप जिस पैटर्न में मैंने आपको सेक्शन बताया उसी पैटर्न में आता है और आपको एक के बाद एक जाना पड़ता है अगर एक सेक्शन गया सो यू कैन नॉट गो बैक अंडरस्टैंड और उस 10 मिनट में ही आपको सेक्शन कंप्लीट करना है 10 मिनट बाद वो सेक्शन हटेगा एंड द सक्सेसिंग सेक्शन विल कम so the hardness level as I mentioned it was easy to medium time अगर आप manage कर सकते हैं अगर आपकी practice है तो आपके लिए बिल्कुल बड़ा issue नहीं होगा वो aptitude आप आरे सगलवाल के books आती है आप उसको practice कीजिए बहुत easy questions रहेंगे आपका concept build होगा और practice के लिए तो बहुत ही बहुत ही recommended book है वो the second level was the logical reasoning, direction, sense and everything, sitting arrangement, permutation and combination and some things like that. The third one was uh, the verbal ability. So, jinki language mein pakar zyada hai, achhi hai, like I have a good hold in language. So, unke liye dikkat nahi hoga, basic questions hai, paragraphs rehenge. The trick is how fast you can read the paragraphs and at the same time how you can uh, interpret the information they have given, right? So, as you can read the paragraphs, as much as you can gain the information, it will be beneficial for you. So, now, uh, and the paragraphs are very long. Hai. So, the trick is first read the questions that they have asked and then read the paragraph. So, that will, so you will know what you need to know. You know what you need to take out from the paragraph exactly. So, और जिनका लैंग्वेज में वो अच्छा नहीं है चिंता करने की कोई बात नहीं है आप अभी भी टाइम है अगर आप सेकंड ईयर में हैं या थर्ड ईयर में हैं तो आप अभी से अपने लैंग्वेज का वो बढ़ा सकते हैं आप बुक्स पढ़िए न्यूज़पेपर पढ़िए इंग्लिश के एंड देयर आर मेनी सोर्सेज फ्रॉम व्हिच यू कैन नो हाउ टू इंक्रीज योर लैंग्वेज प्रोफिशिएंसी द फोर्थ वन इज द आई थिंक इट्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन बिकॉज़ इट्स द डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड एनालिटिक्स क्वेश्चन डील्स विद डेटा so it will give you graphs and patterns of company sales and all and it will ask you questions on the basis of that. So that is also easy if you have a keen interest in data interpretation like I had a very keen interest like I love graphs and analyzing them. So it would be easy for you even if you don't the questions are not that high level or it's not a rocket science that you won't be able to do it. Coming to the case study, so once we gave the test, I think it was a week or so till we got the results and the selected students were called upon for the case study and I think we got some one to one and a half hours for uh, the case study as well and actually if you, what is a case study, they will give you the performance of a company 
suppose ours was uh, amazon like a, like a retail company similar to amazon or flipkart so they have uh, they are packaging materials and they are shipping it in throughout the country right and they had given us the previous year sales report like um, what was their income what was the revenue generated how much they had to uh, expenditure you know for buying the materials and uh, how much they got the incoming money the total sum of money incoming so all the statistics were given all the data were given and then we had to interpret according to the given data uh, we have to give the answers to the question they asked suppose the questions asked was what was the total profit or what was the total loss uh, throughout the year in for which they have given the data the questions were like they had three types of membership a platinum gold and a, a silver membership and accordingly the uh, consumers who had the membership had special benefits accordingly so it was asked that what which benefit was the most used by the consumers and why and if the company is suffering loss then what is the reason and how can you uh, how can you give the solution so that the company can increase their sale and there were drop the trends were like uh, since i said that the trends were given so there were trends like there was a drop in the platinum membership but the increase in a gold membership so accordingly we had to give the reason that why it was and what could we do to increase the platinum platinum membership the pattern being like silver being the uh, most economical one then gold and then the platinum being the most expensive membership and accordingly they had the consumers had benefit just like in our day to day life we see in the normal online shops so you had to read the case studies really really well and you have to interpret the data as given and accordingly just read the questions uh, concent with concentration and answer them accordingly for practice actually when i saw that i have been selected for the case study the first thing i did was search the internet the similar procedure because nowadays internet is everywhere so that's a big uh, weapon for us to use it wisely you know so i searched for case studies and fortunately the aq analytics question have case studies in their websites as well they have real case studies which they have handled and you can read them and that that will that particular thing will give you a nice idea of the type of case study or questions you will get secondly uh, there are websites and again there is quora so the people who have given interview already has mentioned that the type of questions given and uh, if you want then there will be the links of the websites given in the description below so you can check it for your own ease and one thing you should keep in mind is draw you know you have to provide the informations as such you're there giving a presentation as such you're making a powerpoint presentation you know so it should be all graphs and pie charts and nicely represented they don't need words they don't don't need sentences and stories and paragraphs and all they just need figures they need the your clarity that how much you have gained from that information you read and accordingly the way you are presenting your answers because you have to assume yourself to be in a meeting presenting a solution you know you have to assume that you are in a real life scenario and that is the only thing that will keep you pushing and motivating for providing it a nice way a nice uh, you know representation and do not forget to draw graphs don't draw graphs of the things they have already mentioned that the mistake i and most of the people did were we made graphs of the uh, data already given they didn't want that they wanted the graph of the data you have calculated like what was the loss what was the profit what was the revenue and all okay so whatever you calculate represent in the form of graph i went with graphs i went with pie charts i went with two different types of graph one the bar graphs and one the simple line graphs and use different types of line use dotted lines use bold lines if possible use different pens just you know don't need to have your paper painted rainbow no just two or three different co colors are sufficient for it 
and make it appear neat as i said just like you want your powerpoint presentation to be so it should be beautiful it should be attractive it should be professional strictly professional okay so they actually instructed us we had a4 sheet pro provided and they asked us to divide it in two sections so it will look like a screen you know a screen uh, nice and uh, you have to represent your answers and graph charts in them and give the solutions yeah at last yeah, write the solutions in the end suggest some measures that is really going to get your points because during the time of interview or before interview they will read your case study while selecting you for that they will read your case study and while uh, while interviewing you they will point out your mistakes and if you have committed any mistake then they will ask you to rectify it so that was the case study it's easy it's fun actually it's very fun and uh, the materials are easily available in the analytics analytics question website and our placement cell also provided us with uh, some examples so don't worry if you don't have such provisions then it's totally fine internet is always there uh, coming to the interview only 10 students were selected for the uh, junior business analysis post and out of the 10 i was the 10th one so my interview call was the last so it was all frustration and the waiting and all so the only thing you have to keep in mind is be humble okay the hr personnel or the one who is interviewing you may seem very young may seem a fresher or something may seem a few years older than you but remember that they have once been in your position interviewing for the job and they have interviewed hundreds if not thousands of students before you so be humble okay they know what they want and they will be able to know what you are thinking by your answers so being generous and humble is the key that will provide a good vibe to the interviewer that no this candidate is generous this candidate is genuine and they'll have fun interviewing you you know so they'll they'll reciprocate your behavior actually so when i entered the interview room i was really nervous but i was trying that uh, not to let it show okay because uh bachpan se um, i have been included in stage things mai bahut sare performance ki hu speeches and debates mein so ye sab cheezon ne meri help ki hai to you know lower down the nervousness to agar aap in sab mein include involved hai in sab activities mein to aapke liye bahut acha hai aur agar nahi bhi hai to bhi it's never too late you know just start it now start it to, today no need to wait for tomorrow agar aap abhi bhi second ya third year mein hain aur agar ye video dekh rahe hain to please apne college events mein participate kijiye sirf ye aapko wo interview ke waqt ka nervousness calm karne ke liye kaam nahi aayega ye aapka jo resume hai jo aapka ek bio data hai usko bhi acha strong build karne mein aapki help karega so these things are very important you know so these actually tell you that how good you are in com communication and even if you are not practice practice makes a man perfect just keep on practicing if you think that you are not ready for stage you'll do it uh, some day else then let me tell you one thing very honestly that some day else will never come okay it's today and it's now so just start doing it right from today and so once i entered the room uh i wish them it was evening around 6:30 so i wish them good evening and they asked me to sit and the first question they projected on me was actually they will try to make you feel comfortable and normal so that you know you can feel a bit relaxed because they know that you'll be nervous being a fresher okay and then they the first thing they asked me was what would you prefer more waiting for your turn to come at the last and getting the answers uh, quickly or being the one to interview first and then waiting for the result so you know they will throw these type of questions to lighten your mood so my answer was the result is worth it if the result is what you want then the wait is worth it to which they smiled and said very diplomatic and that a sort of boosted my confidence a bit and i felt more relaxed and then i was in my pace and then they started asking me questions 
uh, they didn't ask me about tell me about yourself but most of the interviewers will they will ask you the first and the most favorite question is tell me about yourself remember one thing don't quote the things as it is mentioned in your resume because they already have your resume to them they have already read it once and twice before you entered the room they are already reading it so you don't need to mention all those things be smart in answering that question say something which will relate you to the current job position okay like if if they would have asked me that tell me about yourself then i would have probably said that uh, i'm sure they and I'm very interested in data interpretation and analyzing problems. It is one of my skills and I like doing it. So you have to tackle the things like that. The second question they came was to um, what are my hobbies? So I mentioned it. what are my achievement, my soft skills. So I said that my soft skill includes leadership and remember to back up your answers like if you're saying that my soft skill is leadership then back up with the fact like i have been the head girl of my school so uh, i backed it up with like i have been the head girl of my school and i have been in the departmental programs uh, in the com uh, organizing committee of the departmental programs i have been the vice president of a college club so all these things represent that yes i have a leadership quality so they'll believe that okay and then they came to hobbies so I, th so I gave my answer accordingly remember don't say a hobby to impress them because they also have hobbies they also know about things and they have a laptop all the time with them and i think they keep on searching if they don't know about anything they'll search quickly and they'll get to know the information the basic info they need so if you try to be untruthful if you try to lie to them they'll basically know that you're lying. So just be truthful. Okay, be genuine. If your hobby is cooking, just say cooking. There's no shame in it. And just they'll probably ask them, what did you cook? And you'll have to answer that, what did you cook? They may ask the recipe, you have to answer. They will ask these things to know how much you know in your area. Like I said that I write liking poems and reading poems. So they asked me what my favorite poem was, what my favorite book was, and I answered it. They asked me to read a few lines from a poem I have written. I answered it. So that made them believe that, no, the girl is genuine. And yeah, her hobby is poetry and reading books. Then they asked about my passion. And I said, it's astronomy. So they asked a few questions about astronomy. And I answered them with a lot of interest. So they cross-checked with internet that whatever I was saying was right or not. And they asked some questions as well. So it was a healthy discussion and I really enjoyed that part. That part was my favorite part of the whole interview, talking about astronomy. And the third or fourth question, I guess, was they asked about my branch. Like they asked me to explain transformers to them. So, yeah, I know it's not related to the job position, but as I said, they want to know what is your knowledge in the area? Like you have been studying something from three or four years and if you are really good at it, you should know the basics. So I drew a transformer symbolic representation and I explained it to them as if they are my students. So I guess after I explained, there was a smile in their face and I guess that sort of impressed them. And you know, these things actually show your confidence and despite being nervous, the way you're tackling situations. So these things actually are plus points. Okay, so they will be a very good uh, plus points for you. Uh, then they, the one thing before uh, going for the interview, actually a day before when I got to know that I have to go for case study and interview, I searched for the interview questions. So most of the people said that they will ask questions in which they would ask you to estimate a number of things. So they want to know ki, what is your idea about things. Like, like obviously आप दो या तीन नहीं देंगे इसका आंसर आप कुछ हजारों में कुछ लाखों में इसका आंसर देंगे तो वो आपका अंदाजा चेक करना चाहते हैं क्योंकि ये कैनेटिक्स कंपनी है यू हैव टू 
assume things you have to predict things you have to predict trends तो आपका जो एजेंशन पावर है ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये मैंने रियलाइज किया जो मुझसे क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था वो था कि सिंस वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यू वाज बंगाली एज वेल लाइक मी सो ही आस्ट इफ वी टेक यू टू एनालिटिक्स क्वेश्चन इफ यू चूज यू इफ यू गेट सिलेक्टेड देन यू विल बी द सेकेंड बंगाली इन दंपनी सो नाउ इन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस इंफॉर्मेशन टेल अस हाउ विल यू प्रोजेक्ट द नंबर ऑफ बेंगोलीज डिसाइडिंग इन बैंगलोर मतलब दे उनको नंबर नहीं चाहिए था बंगालीज के कि कितने बंगालीज है वो चाहते थे कि क्या क्या तरीके मैं यूज करूंगी ये पता करने के लिए कि कितने बंगाली है सो माई आंसर वॉज अकॉर्डिंगली कि आप ऑब्वियसली आप कोई कम्युनिटी के बारे में जानना चाहेंगे तो आप उसका मार्केट देखेंगे कि उस कम्युनिटी से रिलेटेड कितनी चीजें आपको मार्केट में दिख रही है फ्लाइट शेड्यूल्स देखेंगे आप जैसे आप कंपनीज में देखेंगे अगर एम्प्लॉयज पुराने हो चुके हैं तो आप उस उनके फैमिली को भी इंक्लूड करेंगे सो आई गेव ऑल दीज मेथड्स एंड दे वो यू नो अ बिट सेटिस्फाइड विद दी आंसर देन दे विल कम एंड आस्क अ बिट ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चंस यू नो लाइक द ट्रिकी क्वेश्चंस व्हिच डोंट नीड अ लॉट ऑफ कैलकुलेशन जस्ट अ ट्रिक और टू लाइक प्रोबेबिलिटी क्वेश्चंस एंड समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड दे विल इफ यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट दे विल गिव यू टाइम दे विल गिव यू रफ पेपर एंड यू विल जस्ट स्क्रिबल इट आउट and they actually they will see your approach even if you are not answering it correctly your approach matters the next is i think the case study they will analyze your case study and if you have committed any mistakes they'll uh, ask you to point it out if you are able to point it out it's very impressive actually and if not they'll point it out and you will have to uh, rectify it and if you do that again impressive if you are unable to do that they'll guide you they are very polite very politely they'll guide you uh, and they'll help you find out the answers correctly then i guess the next question was yeah the first uh, after this i think that was it as far as i can remember uh, yeah that was pretty much it so the interviewing time was very fun for me and after completing the interview they asked me to go wait outside and they thanked me i thank them and one thing important yes coding if you have mentioned that you know a programming language which being an ingenious engineering student you must know uh, i mentioned only one programming language that was c programming and i hadn't been in touch with that programming you know i haven't been revising it very properly so i mentioned that that i know a very basic of c programming and i have took the courses about couple of years ago so i don't remember much but i can tell you the approach so they said it's okay so they gave me a problem of uh, that basically include array they asked me to calculate some average and something so i just told them the approach i honestly told them that i have forgot the codings and the syntax and all the uh, appropriate languages used so i just told them the approach and they were all right with it Uh, if AQ is coming to a company, and if you are from IT branch, you must have read. Uh, you must have SQL in your syllabus. Then you are very lucky. Even if not, if you have knowledge of SQL, just polish it off because that's what they need. You know, proficiency in MS Excel and SQL. And even if you are like me, that you don't know it, then also it's all right. Because they will train you if you get selected. If they like you, they will select you, and they will train you. so uh, approach matters as i mentioned approach matters be honest be humble and when you go and sit in the interview just sit properly okay not like i'm sitting right now just sit like that keep your hands in your lap okay and when they ask for your resume give it to them in our case it was submitted prior to our uh, interview was scheduled so that was in the matter if they ask for anything else like certificates and all give it to them if they don't ask the question tell me about yourself and you still need to tell them your caliber and your qualities just put it out very smartly don't sound arrogant okay don't use superlative things like i'm the most brilliant one or i'm the most smart or intelligent one or something like that if you have won something like uh, while talking about astronomy i mentioned about a competition that i faced in iit kanpur in its tech fest 
and uh, me and my teammate uh, we won the third position so i mentioned it while talking to them so it wasn't arrogant it was just a humble mention okay that uh, yeah i got the opportunity to uh, face the competition and i was lucky that i reached it so as i said just be yourself nervous mat hoye aap bilkul apne aap mein rahiye so that's it uh, do tell us how you like the video in the comment section i hope you like the video i hope it helps if it helps i'll be very glad just tell us your experience in the comment section after watching the video and after your aq interview all the best guys